this video will show you how to make a just a basic simple chair just to get used to some of the tools in the SketchUp program. So as you can see I'm on a new uh, SketchUp document and very quickly I'll show you the movement tools. So you've got Orbit, Pan and Zoom. It's quite useful to have a mouse for this because it's easier to move around. So I'm going to select Orbit and if you hold down Shift that lets you pan around then if you let go and just click and drag you can move around and look around the workspace as you can see um, I'm just gonna keep the woman there for the moment just to show you and to start your chair you need just a basic shape at the bottom so I'm going to choose the rectangle tool and I'll put it along the bottom so you click in the corner and you can see roughly based on the size of the woman the size of the base of the chair. So in the bottom right corner, you can see the dimensions as well. And another useful tool is, so I think I'll make about half a meter. If I type in 500, comma, 500, it will make it a square. So as you can see, roughly that should be the right size for the square. So if I click on the woman now, we'll say bye to her. If you click on it and press delete. Okay, back to the chair. You can see we've got the rectangle on the floor. We're now going to use the push pull tool to bring the chair up. And as you can see, the distance is in the bottom right corner. And I'm going to pull that up to about a meter, so a thousand. So if I hold it and type in a thousand, it will roughly get to there. Okay. So. I like that height now and I can again click on the orbit tool just to go around and we can start making the different parts of the chair. So the first thing we're going to do is use the rectangle tool again. You could also use the line tool and I'm going to carefully draw on the different parts of the chair. So obviously a chair will have the bit underneath and obviously from the top we want this section cut out as well there we go so that looks roughly okay and a useful tool as well is if you click on this section it's gone blue and it's shaded in I can press ctrl and C to copy and if I pan around now I can paste on and put exactly the same shape on each side and that'll be useful obviously later when I need to do this side as well and I'm going to pan around and I'll do this side as well and it should lock onto the that dimension and put it onto the edge we don't have to do all of them and I'll show you why in a second so we'll just leave this one blank for now so the next step again go back to the push pull tool we made one object 3D, but we can also cut out of an object. So click on it and push through all the way to the other side and it gets rid of that section. And you can see our chair is starting to take place. So again, keep using the orbit tool, move around and push pull again, push through. Okay. And then just check it's gone all the way through. Yep, you can see through it. And as you can see, the sections are different so that's why we had two different ones for these legs the next step we will use the push pull tool push through that one and use the push pull tool to just go through this one as well okay. now, as you can see this section in the middle hasn't all quite cut out so what i'm going to do is just Um, zoom in on it, just scrolling with my mouse, and pan around. I'm just going to try, if you use the erase tool, click on this line here, and it's erased them. So if you do get that problem, you can get the eraser, and just click on the line you don't want. And as you can see, if I rotate round, you've got the different parts to the chair. Okay. So next step, you can see in the finished model, we used a curved section on the top of the chair. But to do that, if you go down to this tool here, which is the arc tools, there's different ones. Uh, you've got arc, two point arc, 
three point arc. I'm going to choose the two point arc because it goes from two places. Uh, roughly from there and then to this side, I'm going to click on the opposite side. And as you can see, the next click will show which direction you want the curve to be. So I'm just going to move up to about there to put that in. Okay, and as you can see, the lines there. Now go back to the orbit tool, spin round, and we're going to use the push pull tool again to get rid of this section. So again, use the orbit tool just to spin round and use the push pull tool to get rid of this section. Okay, move up. So as you can see, that's the really basic chair with different shaping. To make it more detailed, you might have some rectangle sections and you could maybe make a section that's cut out in the back of the chair. Obviously, you could do something similar. Use the push-pull tool again. You can have an object going through. Okay. okay. So again, that's just a really quick final chair. I haven't put too much detail into it. You might do extra things, especially with the curve tool. You can get curved edges on the bottom of the chair just to make it more realistic. But I'm going to stick with that for now as a basic chair shape. Okay, the next step is just to add some colour and textures. So you go to the paint bucket and it comes up with all the different options. I am going to go for a wood and I think I'll choose this colour here. We'll, we'll see what it looks like. Yeah, that's a good one. And just put it on each of the different sides. Use the orbit tool to, to move around. And just making sure we get each of the different sides. And I'll spin around one more time. You can see it underneath. And the base as well. Okay, and just to complete the chair, you might add a cushion or some different things on. So hopefully that's shown you just how to make a really basic shape. We've used some of the features on this toolbar down the side. And again, the curve tool, the push pull, you can make lots of different shapes with that.